Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I don't have a lot of time. I've real, been real busy all day today, really. But um, I did find a little project that I wanted to jump on and get start, get finished up today. Won't take very long, but um, we have a 1920 Agco Alice garden tractor. And my seat, as you can see, is not in very good shape. But I also have a collection of other Agco Alice garden tractors. That's a 1716, and it's got a perfectly good seat on it. So there's no reason for that seat to be there when it can be there. So follow along while I change the seat, or try to. Well, it's got a lot of water in it. All right, we are gonna take the seat off of this tractor now. I was hoping we could use the impact, but that ain't working. As long as these brackets is the same width here, 
I think we can just swap the, because the brackets are different for sure. And I gotta have this tractor ready to roll for tomorrow, or in the morning for the meat birds. Uh, Natalie and I went to uh, a couple towns over today to um, look at another tractor. Um, boys, I'm gonna run into the same problem. I'm gonna have to take these brackets loose this bracket loose maybe not we'll try it nope it come loose good deal Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Natalie and I went to a, a town, town over and looked at another tractor. While we was there, we also picked up some D17 parts the guy had. Uh, we got a correct seat and seat pan for the D17. So, the old D17s, it's, it's getting, it's coming together quite, quite good. There's a one. See, we didn't need. Check it out. Boom. Just as I expected. That seat will work just fine on this this here garden tractor. You gotta use the same bushings that came off the other one, but that's not a deal. That's not a, a problem. No big deal. Um, But this is going to make this so much nicer. More nicer, as my friend Ross the Oliver Man says. More nicer. Um, if you get a, if you haven't, go check his out his videos. He's, he's quite comical on a lot of his stuff. I enjoy watching Ross the Oliver Man. Okay, little bushing, where did you go? There you are. That slides up in that seat like that. Then we'll put a whoosh, a whoosher. And then we'll put this lock net right there on it. Like I said earlier, this would be a lot easier if I get the impact to it on it, but just for too much of an angle, it didn't want to go on, so we'll do it the old way. Just like everything else in life, you know, sometimes a quick answer ain't always the right answer. Some things just take time, like put changing a seat on a garden tractor.
I think I've mentioned this before on the video. This garden tractor here, we've got a super good deal on it. Um, it don't owe us nothing. We've not really ever had much trouble on, out of it. That starter there a week or, week or two ago, but you know, if you gotta put a starter on one occasionally, that ain't all that bad. If I get that PTO clutch figured out, that would be amazing, but. seat back up here that's pretty cool because that's the exact same seat switch that other seat had on it the garden tractor I think there's two models in here different but yeah look at that that's that's way more better um, that's awesome. No more wet seat when you get on it. All right. Thank you guys for watching along as I change these seats out on my garden tractor. Um, as we like to say here at Mama Bear's Homestead and more, keep on keeping on, my friends.